here is some eccentrics. I thought I'd show how I solved this problem years ago. These have anywhere from a two tenth to three to three tenths of an inch positive displacement that come in two different styles. One is the uh, cam is offset 150 thousandths, the other is it's uh, 100 thousandths. Um, I built a set of pots to turn it between centers. These were machined on a lathe and then on uh, Bridgeport I picked up the outside they were born, they were concentric, picked up the outside, offset and bored a hole so that I could later tool in a uh, center and then uh, marked it off, machined it off on the sides. They're scribes, you can't hardly see these because they're kind of old and gray or brown from heat because uh, these also are used to weld these parts. Um, so this is uh, offset an eighth of an inch. That splits the difference between 150 thousandths and 100 thousandths. And then of course for the other diameter there's another one. And set up like that and then they're indexed and marked. There's the Y offset with those screws scribed there machined on its sister part. So how do we set these up so we know where the uh, X's and Y's are supposed to be? Put this stuff away. That's kind of where the skullduggery comes in. Uh, I have another part here the same and a not a high gauge, but it's a uh, uh, indicator stand, and I will find all I need to know, and I can, you can either scribe marks along the size with a surface gauge. I'll use a height gauge, just an old veneer. I'm within a couple of thousandths the way I'm going to do this. So we set this up, and I'll zoom in. I'll get this. center. What we're looking for, let me zoom in on the uh, indicator so you can watch a little better as this is done. I'll find the center in the V-block or the center on the lobe, you really don't know yet. Then I'll rotate to make sure I'm there, I'm there. Set my height standard to zero. And I'm going to rotate it to see how much displacement it has. There's 100, 200, and then I want to make sure that's, that's uh, these aren't all, these are supposed to be 150 and it looks like, like it's more like 145. And I'm still centered there. No, about 147. So I'm going to split the difference Uh, I should show about 5 minus when I bring the load back up. This is a bearing diameter, a shaker screen, roller bearing, and uh, set it for center. I'm going to scribe two lines. there. It 
show on the floor. Let's get, uh, yep, I'm going to scribe it again. These can be within a few minutes and be all right. But it's self-correcting when you do that. Now how do I find the, uh, the Y? Since my cam is going to set my center going this way and this way, I'm going to take this to 150, which would be the difference. And here's how I find the center of this. If this gains going under the indicator, I'm not there. So I just guess about in the middle. I'm going to turn that back down to 150. Let's see how we go. Pretty good guess. About a half. Turn it a little bit more. There I go. And now I'm going to scribe. Turn it the other way. Oop, I want to keep going minus. To there. Now I want to see what happens here. Oh, I'm way off. So we're going to turn her some more. And I've got to go till I've got that to 150 and it stays. too far, not bad. I'm very close. And I'll scribe there. some of my junk out of the way. And I'm marking right on top of my lines, which is what I want to see. From there I just find my top lobe. This one's actually will be good enough to uh, put in the welder right now and weld. And then uh, as I go on and show further as so you'll see what the weld looks like, how it's set up for pre-turning in the lathe. And I, sometimes if I don't have very many, I'll just finish these bearing diameters in the lathe. Uh, if I've got a lot of them, I'll go ahead and uh, Turn them down to about 15, 10, 15 over in the uh, lathe, then carry them over in the same fixture, just move it right over to the grinder and finish it off because finishing happens, it's so quick on a grinder with a uh, two tenth diameter. So we'll be back. <laughs> 